Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, this is David and you are watching David Owen Creates. Right now, I'm actually showing the step-by-step -step process of how I'm glazing these pottery pieces. I did do a few fun videos a while back. In case you missed those, I will link them below. But in those videos, I did, the first one was a hand building class where I created this mug and here it is all glazed. It has three coats of the colors on it. And now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna glaze the little candle holder that I also made in that class. I'm gonna be using this glaze called Snow. And I'm just gonna take a brush out of the bucket here and basically just paint it onto the ceramic piece, just like we would just paint anything, really. Just slap it on there. I'm giving a nice thick layer of this color and I will do this three times. So once this dries, which it will dry pretty quickly because the terracotta just really absorbs it, you can go ahead and apply another coat. It takes maybe like not even 10 minutes. So I did two coats of the snow and then I'm gonna oh, do yeah. my final layer <laughs> in this oatmeal color. <laughs> oh my God. You see what I just did? And as you can see, the bottoms of them are all the terracotta color. It's because they will stick to the kiln if they're not waxed over with the clear wax. So that's basically what I showed at the beginning of the video. That's all I was doing is just putting on the wax on the bottom of my pieces. And here are all my pieces finally done. Everything is glazed. I'm actually having John glaze the gnome because I just didn't have time to do it. I had these five pieces to do and he only had his bowl that he was doing. So this again will all turn out different after it's fired. This is just what it looks like when it's done with the glazing part. All right guys, so today I wanted to do a pottery reveal because I took you along with me to a couple of these trips that I've been doing to the pottery classes. And let's start off with this one because I did show you a, like a sneak peek of the glazing process. Now these two I did at a different studio than the rest of these. So the two I'm about to show you, I never actually showed the process of me creating these. It was at my friend's sister's studio in a different city. I was able to throw two pots and these are the pots I did. I think it turned out really, really nice. Now I will try to pop up the photo that I shared with you guys in my community tab. This turned out way different than I thought, but honestly, it's still really pretty. You can see I did some little black kind of grayish speckles on there where I had flicked the glaze all over and that's what those little dots are from. So I just tried to give it some kind of character and it's more of a yellowy with a brown tint I would say with the black specks. And the walls are pretty thick but it still turned out really nice. I really do like it the walls thicker though. My initials are on the bottom there. David Owen Creates, love that. And her kiln, you're able to paint like the whole bottom. And I'll show you in a second the other pieces. I wasn't able to do that. We had to put a clear wax on the bottom of those pieces. So this one was a, a little bit different. So the other piece turned out like this. And basically what I had done like with this one, I used a, col a glaze called sand and one was storm to create a sandstorm is what I had called it. And it kind of looks fitting, right? It looks like a sandstorm. And with this one, I mixed those two together with another color and I slapped different layers, probably three different layers of different colors all over. I really didn't know how it was gonna turn out, but I think it's really pretty. It has like these purples and blues and browns all throughout. And I think that is a really neat glaze. Again, I'm not sure of the colors that I had used. I know one was sand and one was storm. I don't remember the other. 
and again the bottom more of a, on the purpley brown side but I think this one turned out really cool as well and it has a really interesting shape I kind of squeezed my fingers in like this a little bit on the top to give a little bit of an edge like this ridge right here so I think this turned out really nice and she did ask if I wanted to put holes like she was gonna go through and put holes in the bottom to make it like an actual planter but I said no it's fine like I can always put rocks or something down here with some soil and then my plant should be okay or I can always use the tray the plant comes in and just set the pot down in here so I can lift it in and out of here but I figured I would use these for putting some kind of plants in so that's how those ones turned out. I think they turned out pretty nicely. Now let's get into the other ones I did where I did the first pottery class with you guys. I did a hand-built class. If you haven't checked out that video, I'll link that down below as well as in the cards above. But I did three hand-built projects and I really wanted to show you the mug, how it turned out. I think it's so cool. I absolutely love the like the colors how this was actually one glaze believe it or not and this one glaze it just creates this really cool texture within itself like as it's burning in the kiln so it really highlighted that texture leaving like blues in between to give that like little fish something like it. I wanted it to pop out of it you know so I love how that turned out the bottom again see it's not there's nothing on it all the clear wax had just burned off so it's just like the pottery I messed up so I just used that as my bottom but it has a fun little texture and my name's kind of right there and then this beautiful cat piece I thought was so cool I thought it'd be really cool on the mug and I did like the black cat and it's kind of like hugging this one I just thought it was really cool I don't know but I thought that kind of went with the fish the cat and the fish and then the inside, there's a pop of the fish down in there as well, which is really cool. And I tried to do an ombre with the black glaze kind of blending down into that glaze. It didn't really work that well, but that's totally fine. It's just the inside of the mug. I think the outside turned out a lot nicer. So that's the mug. It's really, really pretty. I like the shape of it too, how it has this beveled kind of edge right here that comes out. The other piece was a candlestick holder, and this is how it turned out. It turned out exactly how I imagined, like, the color. So I'm pretty pleased with this one. I wanted it kind of a creamy white, and it's perfect. I will say the only thing that's annoying is, like, my finger barely fits in this thing. Like, barely. That is kind of annoying. I should have made this a little bit bigger. And I feel like this might be a little bit too big for a candle. I don't have a candle right this minute to show you, but it's really cute regardless. Even if I just displayed it like this on a book, I could probably fit a candle in there. And I like that there's some texture down in there. So I can melt the bottom of the candle and push it down in there and it will kind of grip onto it and it'll have something to hold on to. So that could be an option or put something like sticky down in there. So the candle will stay upright. I feel like that might be a little bit too large, the, the hole right here. And again, the bottom is not glazed. And I don't know what... I think she carved something in there because that is not my initials, but I don't know. So that's how that one turned out. And then I also did a gnome, which you guys might think is so cute. It turned out so adorable actually had my friend John paint this while we were there. He went ahead and glazed it because I had so many other pieces to glaze. So I said, can you just glaze this for me? So he did a really good job on picking out these colors and glazing it. I love, I think Rachel had helped him out as well. Um, they were kind of there glazing with me. Those are my friends that went with me to do this. And I mean, there's a little bluish spot, but it's it's fine. You'd barely even see that if it's sitting like this, you know. But I like how it turned out with the colors. I wasn't expecting it to be much of anything because it was like this hand-built project. But it's actually really cute and my name is written down there as well. So that's how this guy turned out. Now, for the other pieces, 
I'm going to go ahead and show you John's first. I think his bowl turned out so good. I have yet to give this to him. I went and picked it, picked it up. But he only did one bowl when we did the wheel. And I think that it turned out so pretty. It has this sparkly dark inside. I love that. And the outside is this deep navy blue color. It's like a blue black. So I think his bowl turned out really nice. And I believe Anita had added this little piece on for him because there was some kind of mess up. I don't remember what she said exactly, but regardless, this turned out so cute. So I really hope he's happy with how it turned out. And I hope he doesn't mind me showing you guys his piece. But this is the only bowl he ended up doing. I don't have Rachel's stuff. She's got. She was going to pick her stuff up. And I don't have Tammy's or Shayna's. I was going to show you guys theirs as well. But it's totally fine. Alright, so we're moving on. Here is uh, the bowl that I did. I think this is might be the first one or second one that I did on the wheel in her class. And I wanted it more of a rounded in shape. And you might be able to tell all my pieces kind of do that. They kind of round inwards a little bit at the top. But I think that just might be my style, how I like it to look. Because everybody else's was not like that. It was more up and down. But I wanted mine to look this way a little bit. So I think this turned out really cute. The colors kind of turned out way different than I thought. I think this is called Antique Copper. Uh, but it is really neat. I like the black specks on there. I think that it did turn out really cool. So I am pleased with that. And there is some kind of chunk. I don't... Oh! I don't know what happened there. It, maybe it stuck to the kiln or something. I don't really know. So there's that one. And then there is another... I did three all together on the wheel in her wheel class. This one, just a cute little kind of bud vase little pot love this one I think the shape's really cool and again I did this kind of rounded inwards thing at the top and my initials are right there so it's clear bottom and the walls on this is pretty thick as well I'd say it's a thicker piece I think this might have been the first one I threw on the wheel I can't remember but the goal was to try to like bring it up as high as you could um so I did this one and that's kind of where I stopped. And then I started doing the bowls. And then the last piece I'm going to show you is this bowl. I love this one. I think that the color turned out amazing. This beautiful olive green with a little bit of burnt brownish yellow color in there. Hi, Azalea. I think it turned out fabulous. Love this color so much. There's no initials or nothing. Um... Sometimes she would write initials on it for us because when we, after we got done on the wheel, we just let it sit and then we put it to the side and then we would do our next piece. So we would just take photos. In my case, I did a video to know what piece was yours so that you could come back and glaze it and so on. Um, a lot of the indication she said was the swirl in the middle is how she could tell, but they all kind of end up looking the same you know, if like 20 people do it. But my projects, like I said, they all kind of bevel inwards at the top. So I knew exactly which ones were mine because of that rounded off shape I gave that. So you could definitely tell it's my work. So yeah, that's how that piece turned out. I don't really know what I'll use them for exactly because they're kind of too small for plants, but they're really cute and I could just, you know, use them as shelving decor or something like that. I could put rocks or something in here. I could put sand and then have little incense sticks and stick it in the sand so I could actually use it as an incense holder. There's so many things. This one I figured I will put water and a couple flowers or something in it. How cute would that be? But yep, those are my pieces. I hope you enjoyed this segment. Leave me a thumbs up if you want to see more pottery from me because I did, in fact, buy a pottery wheel and I hope I get to start using that soon and do some more videos with you guys on pottery and just kind of get more into that because I'm really into the pottery. I don't know why. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.